will need an easel, palette paper, turpenoid, a glass jar with a lid, brushes, dish soap, oil paints, rags, palette knives, an apron, and a canvas or any painting surface you want. I suggest you start with student grade paints and an old master's palette. The old master's palette includes titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow light, ivory black, and ultramarine blue. When it comes to brushes, everyone has a personal preference, so I suggest you try them all and decide what's best for you. Choose whatever size feels comfortable for you. To start, I suggest you get synthetic brushes and at least one filbert, which has a rounded tip, and one flat, stroke, or bright, which have a square tip. Once you start working with them, you'll start finding what your preference is. I personally like both and use them interchangeably. You can buy rags at art supply stores, but I go through so many when I paint that I like making my own to save some money. Usually cotton fabrics work best. Just choose an old t-shirt you want to get rid of and cut it into small squares. Personally, I can never have too many rags. I use turpenoid to rinse my brushes out when I'm painting. Pour the turpenoid into the glass jar high enough so the bristles of your brush are submerged when you dunk them in. Make sure you keep the jar sealed when you're not using the turpenoid because while it's odorless, it's still dangerous and you don't want to ingest the fumes for too long or you could get sick. If you have pets or children, keep them away from this. There are other options instead of turpenoid if you'd rather work with something less flammable or toxic. I use the dish soap to wash my brushes after painting. There's a variety of products you can use for this, but I find dish soap works best for me, especially the kind that cuts through grease. I have a table easel and a standing easel. A standing easel is best for larger sized canvas, and the table easel is best for smaller sizes. You don't have to use an apron, but I highly recommend you do, or at least work in a shirt you don't care about ruining, because oil paint gets on everything and it's pretty much impossible to remove. Hi. So those are the basic things you need if you want to get started with oil painting. And don't worry, I know I didn't go too much into detail on things in this video, but I will definitely be making a lot more videos talking about how to use oil paints and different techniques and lots of other very helpful things that will be coming in the very near future. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know in the comments below. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a lot more useful art tutorials and tips and tricks and magic. Thanks for watching, guys.